Today, Northwestern players spoke for the first time in the wake of the Wildcats football scandal. Interim head coach David Braun also spoke. Let's go on the beat, presented by Chevy, with NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski, who was in Evanston for it all. Under a sign enumerating the values of Northwestern football, interim coach David Braun and some of his players for the first time answered questions raised by the NU hazing scandal and its impact on their team. They understand that these aren't calm waters. It's turbulent. In some regards, they're running, you know, they're, they're, they're facing the storm. This has been the first week of practice for the team, and their first priority has been each other. We've really um, just stuck, stuck together through all of this and um, just checking in on each other, making sure everyone's doing okay, obviously, during this difficult time, um, especially the younger guys who obviously um, just got here, just looking out for them and looking out for each other. It's been a difficult time, uh, but, uh, you know, we've been able to refocus and, you know, look at what's really important, and that's uh, getting back to winning games. During today's practice, some coaches and staff wore shirts that read Cats Against the World with Pat Fitzgerald's old number. It certainly isn't my business to, to censor, censor anyone's free speech. Throughout the hazing scandal, Coach Braun and his predecessor have remained in touch. Fitzgerald's son Jack is still with the team. It was Fitzgerald who brought Braun to Northwestern. Coach Fitz and his family you know, brought me in under their, their roof for two months. The, 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 the relationship with Pat is, is much deeper than just someone that I worked for, for for six months. And despite the accusations and lawsuit brought about by the hazing allegations, Braun and his team say they must now focus on football. Our main focus is to win games and also stick together. Um, that's That's been a big aspect of like what we've been trying to do as a team. They're going to have to weather the storm of how this is going to play out long term, but really proud of our commits that have stayed committed, really proud of the, the, the team that we have uh, working their butts off and practicing every day right now. In Evanston, Charlie Wojciechowski for Football Night in Chicago.